Well, hi, my name is May, and this is The Witcher 3 Part 19. So last time we traveled with Avalok through different dimensions in an effort to find the Wild Hunt's home world so we can get Aridin's right-hand man to convince him essentially that Aridin is the one that killed the original king, so he committed treason and hope that this guy kind of sides with us because of that. We ended up taking him to Corin, who was the dream sorceress that we met like quite a while ago now. And so she showed him that yes, Aridin is the one that killed the king and he's supposedly on our side now. He said that if Aridin calls for any troops that no one will answer because he is going to make sure that no one supports him. So it'll be a little bit easier for us to fight him. We also ended up assassinating King Radovid with the help of Dijkstra, Roach, and Thaler. And surprisingly, but not really surprisingly, Philippa became involved and she was actually the person to do the last, the last stab, let's say, and finish him off. But there ended up being a twist, of course. Dijkstra betrayed everyone. He wanted to not lay down arms to Nilfgaard because of the plan that they had made with Amir. And um, he ordered everyone to be executed by his men, which was kind of crazy. I was not expecting that. And Geralt, of course, he's a good guy, so he wasn't going to let that slide. So he ended up killing all of the bad guys. And that ended up being, he killed, he killed Dijkstra, um, which it felt really anticlimactic to me. I was expecting a lot more to happen. Like, first off, I don't know why this is not a main mission. It's really odd that it's a side mission because it's so easy to miss. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's not that easy to miss. But you can. If someone only focuses on the main story, you'd miss such a big part of the world. So I thought that was a little bit weird. But also, yeah, I just wasn't expecting that from Dijkstra. I think the betrayal is, like, pretty on par with him. Or at least, like, you know, he's always got something sneaky going on. But for him to be willing to kill everybody, I don't know, I didn't like it that much. I think it's just me being biased because I like him as a character and I liked the dynamic that him and Geralt have. But I don't know, it is what it is. It was, it was a good overall mission, I just don't like how it ended. Anyway, we have to head to Skellige now to look for a sunstone. Supposedly we can use that to summon Aridin so we can have our final fight. And uh, yeah, so we're pretty much right at the end. I, I think this might be it for the main story. So uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's go. Is that? Oh. Help protect Ciri from the wild hunt and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. <sighs> Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. True. <laughs> bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Hmm. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. Yeah, what the heck? He wouldn't let her go with everyone else like if he's making a deal with them she must have really pissed him off or something where is avala oh. there's tris there's siri look they look almost the same paper bag heads got a minute of course oh my god i've got a lot once you'd left yen and me on the isle of avalon what happened to you what did you do i traveled through time space different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end, even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. That sounds horrifying. Hmm. Freedom. Always had a cool, taste though. for it. I still do. So why'd you return? It was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Well... Oh. Should we ask about Yennefer right in front of Triss? So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. 
Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Less is hard. Picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala or maybe Dolblathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. That's weird. That's a weird dynamic. These are like her parents she's talking about. <laughs> I don't think I would be like, I'm very forthcoming with my parents, but I don't think I would be saying that. <laughs> That's like a little bit, yeah, it's a lot. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. Hmm. I don't need to ask her what it's like. She kind of already explained I it. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. Should I talk to Triss? Yes, Geralt? You, uh, holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I knew you and Yennefer... ...that you'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to- Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. Well, we tried. So long, Triss. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Oil present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Are you trying to say something? Sorry, I got shit to do. I was trying to assassinate Anchors the away. king. My bad. Sorry for not, you know. I mean, I guess this is really important. <laughs> this is a really important thing. <laughs> so was the king. The king of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagal Fair. A giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone. An artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. Cool. Is there a, um, like a comic book of all this? That would be really cool. I haven't ever really looked into, like I know there's the books obviously, but I was more talking about like this art design is really awesome. It would be cool to have like a full book of it. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Unless someone knows, then you can tell me. <laughs> hmm. That settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skelligan? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. True. Oh, those look so cool. Something about the like sharp lines of the sails. I don't know. Looks awesome. We must hurry and find the sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. <laughs> the answer's gonna be no. At the moment, we don't even know what the sunstone is. 
It was created so the mountain elves could summon the vessels of the ML. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Ooh, awkward. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. Mm-hmm. Of course. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstone's in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. Oh, I have to ask both. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. I mean, Siri could try to hop on and be like, Hey, Dad. Fuck you. Give me Fringilla. <laughs> Think they know we're here? Emir's mages, of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but- Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject, one officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Emir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. Plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Thanks, Make Ian. your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show his Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. I'm off. I'm off. So excited to go jump Good in luck. the dark, cold water. <laughs> I love the little smile they share. It's so cute. So do I... I'm literally... Oh, let's read that. Your Imperial Majesty, allow me to remind you that our arrangement encompassed all the sorceresses wishing to take part in the risky endeavor whose success is so vital to us. I find it hard to believe that in the current situation, when I have already succeeded in gathering so many members of the Lodge, you would refuse to allow Fringilla Vigo to join our company. I understand there are personal factors that make you reluctant to part with your subject, but I assure you our interests are aligned in those matters as well. I promise that I will uphold the conditions of our arrangement, despite the fact that they will demand sacrifices of me and will leave me in an unfortunate situation. I therefore request, politely yet with great insistence, that you release Fringilla, with all due respect, Yen. Uh... They demand sacrifices of me and will leave me in an unfortunate situation. Is there something she's not telling us that she made a deal with him? Hmm. Lookie, um, okay, well, let's get Fringilla first. Because I feel like that's... Yeah. Perhaps you should talk to him after all. Oh what god. Point? Oh god, Shall it's... And later? Don't count your father out just because he's the world's richest and most powerful authoritarian rotter unworthy of even one inch of trust. Actually, of all people, I believe you can trust him. Perhaps you even should. What about the dictatorial <laughs> rotter part? Something to get yet. used to. <laughs> uh, he is far as shit, because, oh, I guess we... Oh, yeah, we're at Care Troll. Oh. And then Vic, it's over here okay so I can just go here I'll just travel that's fine hey get me off this boat how do I get off oh they did him good it's so nice outside, it's like, but it's minus, 
like five degrees Celsius or something. So it's freezing. But I just like, I want to go for a walk? Maybe a run? I don't run. That was a lie. I was trying to make myself sound better than I am. <laughs> I don't run. I used to, but I've really gotten out of it. Oh my god, that was so fast. Wow. It's clearing up. Oh, under the cover of darkness. Ew, yes, I see. Okay, I guess we're gonna meditate. Oh no, that's mid that's midday. That's midday. You fool. Cover of darkness. 10 p.m.? Is that good? Oh, it's snowing! Yay! Alright, well. At least Geralt can actually swim, unlike Arthur. Arthur gets tired after two seconds. Okay, so I see lights. I'm assuming we just avoid those. I'm hearing scary noises, but I don't think they come from under the ground. Or sorry, under the water. I think they're on ground. This is kind of scary. Where am I going? Which boat is it? Also, how does Gerald know? Kind of crazy. When I was a boy, my parents brought me to Skellige once. Huh? What for? Why? There's nothing here but crags, harpies, and plowing seaweed. Boy, this? Light out the Quite the adventure. Nope. Well, let me get up. They showed me how to Pleasant to come back after all these years. No, nope, no, it's saying I'm going further. How do I get up? Nope, sorry, I dove. Oh god, please get up, please get up. Please surface. <gasps> I truly don't know how to get up on the boat. Hold! It's the Witcher! Emperor's orders! Stand down! Oh. Cool. Thanks. So he knew we were probably gonna come. <laughs> Sup, guys? Fancy seeing you here. Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. We are at war, if you've not noticed. I've noticed. I can see the smoke from burning huts miles away. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. <laughs> I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritian shackles. I don't even know what Fringilla looks like. No recollection. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Oh, hey. Farewell. Fringilla. She definitely Been looks like Nilfgaard. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We can take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. Fair. And I despise teleports, but have it your way. Let's go. Beep. 
Fringilla Vigo. Philippa, a pleasure as always. Come now, we need none of that. Fringilla, we must speak. Oh my. Well. Wait. Was it not Yen that said Fringilla, we must speak? But Triss is going. Alright, well, you're welcome, babe. Geralt. Eh, I'll leave Thanks, it. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Okay. Now. Best ah. blade's not worth shite if a weak arm you swing knew it. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Yeah, it's probably not worth poking the beast. Alright. I don't know where this is, but I'm running anyway. Something I've always wondered. What do you witchers do once there are no foreigners? What's your stare? You looking for work by any chance? Oh, sir, I've ignored you so many times, and I'm gonna do it again. So sorry. Just know that I feel bad. Where is this? For real? For real? I haven't been over there? Oh my god, it's so far. Yuck. Okay, well, what's closer? I guess this is the closest. All right, we're gonna have to do a big, long horse ride. I think it's faster than the ship. Hold a thousand up, steps Quinn. still. Oh, why am I going this way? What am I doing? Did you sever his head? Where is it? In here? And what else would crack? Huh? Oh, there we go. I'll not kneel before an oncrite. Never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the black ones? I'd sooner write the rights of bleeding Moorhog than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yars call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. What would you call it if not treason? That your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Oh. Well. Oh, Lugos, you dummy. Oh, died immediately. I'm a higher level than you guys. Sorry. Oh. Oh, no, you won't. But good try. There's your head. Is there? Oh. Okay. Ouch. Do you mind? Oh, this is just sad for you. Oh, God. You have good aim. Bloodhead. Oh, well. He's called Madman Lugos for a reason, so... Oh, he went out. He went outside. Come all the way down here. Why are you running away from me? Oh, there's more! Well, it's not Madman Lugos' territory anymore. Oh, 
Oh, that didn't work. Had to be creative. Okay, Army, and come back. Are we really just walking this whole way before I can talk to you? For real? Come. We should not stay here. I thought the gates was his territory, and now we're out of it. Apparently not. Race ya. I say to a man who's definitely 30 years my senior and is not magical like me. <laughs> Oops, I called my horse. I didn't mean to. Oh well. Don't run him down, Roach. How far is too far? How far is good enough? Here? Can we talk now? No, he's still going. Here? Ermion, please. I just want to chat. Come. Oh, you should not go. Stay here. Oh, okay. Well, Garrett, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. <laughs> Seems to me I've missed quite a few. Blood of Crocs blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. Yeah, whatever. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Ker Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. She deserved it, damn it. I have no regrets. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. Oh, well, good. But why have you returned to Skellige? Let's ask about Ceres. How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone. Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Yard mm. took matters into his own hands. That's annoying. Leomar. Roach, you're really the lads in the way. led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Crack's will, all failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. It really does. Listen, Ermian, know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The mask of Urbera's first, now the sun. Sorry. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avent. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, Fishlung. they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Yeah. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your cool. help. One thing, Gareth. Thanks. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. I was going to say a gaggle. Uh, gods <gasps> protect us. A gaggle of sorceresses. Sor sorcerai. Um, 
All right, cool. I'd rather talk to the bard. I don't know if I have to talk to both. So where? Oh, I should be going here. Where are these? These the pearl divers? No, that's the bard. Oh yeah, that's so far. I don't want to go there. I hope I only have to talk to one. I truly hope. I may as well ride. It's not that far. Not now. What you looking for? Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Givorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. I don't know what that reference Let's is. Let's watch for Gevorg together. And you it's can Black tell Sun, me what Nilfgaard? you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. You'd think it'd be really windy and those candles would blow out. Maybe they're magic. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Avon. What? I... Fucking look. <sighs> Just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing an adventure novel. Gathering material for it. Mean to write up the coming of the White Fleet? Try, my dear. May have to use to do that. my translation of the Song of Gilban and Dillion. Gladly, gladly. So where's this cavern? Uh, got a sail east from Kertrolda. Caverns in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long, and good luck with the White oh Whale. Oh my god. It'll show today. I'm sure of it. That's terrible. Okay, even when I yelled his name, he went... What? Like, it was a 15 minute delay. Sad. Can I see him again? Probably not. Oh well. We tried. I could have said nothing, which would have been douchey. So... Let's go tell Yen. I'd rather verify it now. Otherwise, I'll continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. You've something of a persecution complex. You needn't come with us. I hadn't intended it. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? Yes. So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Speaker Of course. Rock. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? She doesn't give any shits. Oh, I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. We'll await you there. No, I want to go with you. I don't want to travel again. Why 
Why do I have to meet them? Why couldn't they? I know I don't like portals. But come on. Come on. Let's see. Oh! Oh, I've been here before. Oh. Thank God. A miracle. It's true what they say. No cure for trouble oh, like a witch. You want a sword? A man in need. It truly does add so much time when I have to constantly like run around places. They do not make it easy. Like it's and I find because the world is not as alive as Red Dead, it's it's not as fun. Also, Red Dead has it feels like it has a lot more travel points, but maybe that's just in my head. I don't know. It's just this I find it's not their strongest suit is this like open world i don't know i stammered that out i don't think open world formula was like done the best i guess okay let's go see what avalok's hiding those look like golems entrance is very well protected i believe we'll find something interesting inside how will you lift the barrier atlan kirk's inclusion should do the trick Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. <laughs> now, now. This is no time to get soppy. Cute. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try it. Yatta Ligon! Oh wow, it worked. The first the first try? We've awoken the sentry. I'll oh take yeah. Care. I'm trying to get through the barrier. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. To the slow, the slowy. Oh no. <laughs> this is not good. Siri, finish him off. Other one gonna come though. Oh, he's got no loot. I guess not. Sorry, buddy. Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. That's a lot of portraits. Like. Like, a lot. <laughs> but if it was just one and he was an artist... Look, Geralt. I don't know. It's a little bit odd. What? It seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. <laughs> Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. 
We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Mm. Oh, over here. Genealogical chart of the Enhanicare, mm. the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Lara's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Let's look at his notes. Gods. We spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri, but it's here later that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ceres, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalach never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. So, mister, you have a lot of explaining to do. It's actually kind of a nice portrait. Looks like a hard ass in it. Mm. What's this? Hmm. Mirror standard. Oh. Might have expected a hidden portal. Hmm. Elves sure know their fragrances. <laughs> I love that there's random shit that's not important. Get in here. We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. You. I remember you. From Tirnalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? to spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink Ooh. water from a mud puddle. Yikes. That was but harsh. I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Not 
the word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's a personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. He wouldn't be drawing pictures of her if he hated her. Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. Yeah, go crazy. <laughs> he knows exactly what to do. I love it. That was so cute. I'm not going to be involved. better let's get out of here the other woman's like watching like what the fuck i have to clean all of that up oh nice wait did yen do that then she must have while they were doing that that's funny oh yen she can have a little bit of fun too just not too much she doesn't want other people to know yeah, so this is the big reveal. I didn't- I couldn't quite recall exactly how it happened. So I think he's not necessarily obsessed with her romantically. I think it's just like, it is purely about her power. And like, her lineage, I guess. Perhaps this was not a good idea. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindusfjall. Oh. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. Of course. <laughs> no time. That's so douchey. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindusfjall? I can. Oh, thank God. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm-hmm. 
See. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look around together. Come on. I gotta be a supportive father. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt. Oh, I yeah. shouldn't leave until I bury him. Think. The body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Wouldn't it be an unmarked grave because he was a, a traitor? What? In the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. Aww. Ooh. He would be in really, really bad shape. Don't come up here, you bastards. I feel like they're gonna say something doing? negative. Yeah. What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skial. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defile our laws. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The wild hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the specters be wanting of some lass who- I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Aye. None will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, it's the only thing elders Good. punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said. Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. <laughs> Good job, Siri. That was a solid hit. He deserved it. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. Have no idea. Well, they shouldn't oh. spit on his name anymore. So his sister and mom died too, I guess, eh? Because they probably... I feel like they would have written them in if they had survived. Back to the boat. Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere alone if I, if I don't have to. So now we have to go to the Elven Ruins. Should be back this way. Would have been nice if we could have gone straight. Because I think Siri, Siri and Yen are going to come as well anyway. Who are there, Witcher? You looking for work? Oh, oh. oh, actually, I might have to. Yes, I do have to vote. Rats. Rat it all. All right, let's go get a boat. Do a little quick kick jump. Ew. That was so gross. It's the helm A. Yeah. 
Okay, we're going in the middle of the night. Well, it's it's eight, but feels like by the time we get there, it'll be nighttime. Let's see, Philippa. Just hey. wonderful. What? I say, look at this. Cool. Let's go. That was easy. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damned thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful. That would be so weird. Let's run! Oh my god, those are huge mushrooms. Hear that? Hmm. Whoa. Yes, I can. I can attack this target. Okay. I have the wrong sword out. Oh no, I do. The screaming is so crazy. It's creepy. Wait, what? She fell there. Came here for a reason. I'm here for the reason. Well, okay, let's go. Hmm. So, how do we get up the, the stairs? I'll fix them right away. Let's go. Couldn't help notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Siri, I think. You don't know shit. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Siri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a five sum, there's clearly no room. Nice. You do not deserve to live! Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no, he ran out! Come back here. Oh my god, he's far. He got stuck. now I'm just following you so hopefully you know where to go see, the blind this. lady how does she oh, it's, it's she can see right but she can't but now she can it see magically I must do yeah. everything for you see the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment 
I'm fresh out of change. Ugh. In blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlan of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? Uh, I did when I was at Kaer Morhen. Ouch. Thanks for doing it for me, so I didn't have to. What? Yennefer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? <laughs> This deal with Amir. It's sorceress business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. Her voice is so condescending, constantly. She just has that, like, that type of voice. Like she looks down at you. Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion- A ridiculous bauble. Don't make me laugh. Do you know that was hurtful. magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend? Watch this. Arahan Numa! Uh-huh. That means the sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors. Oh. So what, they all have to face up towards that, probably? Oh, climbed over that, yep. How do I do? How do I get up there? What do I do? Oh god. Oh, it literally just goes back and forth. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna be bad at this. Oh! Oops! Hmm. Nope. Geralt, you dummy. Oh, a ghost! What the heck? That was weird. You were just standing here? do this. I assumed we just wanted it all facing here. 
into the middle, but maybe not. There we go. You just had to move them all over. That was it. did you find? Oh, it's just hovering in the middle there? It's so small! Oh my god, I thought it'd be so much bigger. At last. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter oh, to discuss. Oh, Philippa. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh! No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Siri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. I wouldn't worry. Emperor's got plans for you, I'm sure. Stop playing the jester and listen to me carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Siri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because? If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. You want to take Yen's place at Amir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. Holding her in the Imperial Dungeon would be costly. And it would give the wrong impression. Any other words of wisdom? Or can we go? You may go. I know you have things to do. I can find a way back. Oh. Well, that's annoying. Nope. That's not how you jump. How do I get out of here? Fucking we shot. looked around your laboratory. I never doubted you would. Why did you? You might have just asked. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood gene? Unlike. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Ciri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed. I'm obsessed. Hmm. Yes, Geralt? We found the Oh, I should have told him we went to his laboratory. Elbarn's gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I guess that's everything. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. Already. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. <laughs> Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. Really? Seems to me you'd started already. We were discussing questions of a magic nature. Nothing of great interest to you. Right. Because I'm just a simple witcher. Don't worry. Simplicity has a charm all its own. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. You 
You are about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. If something goes wrong, I shall react. Hmm. Like a general commanding troops from a hilltop? Gonna signal us by horn or use messengers? Exquisite irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Thanks. Look at her pouting Time's over there. one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess. Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. Hmm. Don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. <laughs> I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms, or not at all. Tyrell recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you will do the same. Tyrell, do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh, yes. The elder blood can be fiery. <laughs> <laughs> Telling Siri she can't do something is counterproductive, speaking from experience there. Ultimately, she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me? Never mind. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats amongst the soldiers. I don't really do a lot of alchemy, you know? Not really my strong suit. Yen, why are you here? To see you. Something happen? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. Well, we are here to battle Aridin and the Wild Hunt at full strength. Could be like Sodden. Could be worse. Nothing could be worse than Sodden was. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like you to come with me. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. <laughs> you? Dropping plots and politics for good? You're in your element in that world. It's your life. Time to start anew. I'll believe it when I see it. Even now you're up to your neck in it. Yes, but only to set matters straight. To be able to withdraw, having retained the upper hand. What then? A small secluded hut with a flower garden to tend to? Why not, if that is what you dream of? We shall leave together. Go where we please. Do whatever strikes our fancy. So? Coming with? I'd go anywhere with you. 
the answer I was hoping for. Go, Geralt. Avalaka waits. And don't get killed, Witcher. I'll try not. Might happen, though. A few times. We'll see. I truly don't have anything to make. Enhanced Swallow, but I don't have any thingies. So... And I only know how to make Enhanced. I don't know how to make Swallow just in general. Oh, this is like a super common ingredient too. Is there not any herbalists around? You'd think there would be. Anything? No. Okay, well, we'll be fine. Let's go. No time like the present. So, Geralt. Ready? Let's get these bastards. With pleasure, Geralt. With pleasure. I don't know, you're sus now. Nobody likes you anymore. You're too weird. Give you my heart. What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eridin. En verilith serenad, Ada Eich Blaine Idone. Elven bauble worked. They approach. It's gonna get frosty. This is so exciting. I'm nervous. Ooh. They're really I'm making so us wait. He's like, mm, I don't wanna. Too dangerous. Cool. 
Do we Silence. have like people in it's the village still. going away? We must flee now. Not this time. No, Cyril. You are not ready. You do not control your powers. I'll manage. Silly. Get out of my way. Silly. The ice. It's a spell. You must find the mage who cast it. Destroy his staff. I'll not stop with his staff. Yep, you can't control her, buddy. Carol tried to warn him. I love how they growl like animals almost. here. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Oh, I think they just keep coming. Hey guys. I'm gonna kill this entire army by myself. Him look like a little bitch right now. It's embarrassing. So cool. Oh. What are you gonna do? Your toy's broken. Sucks to be you. Come on, Siri. It's time to get up again. A little faster. Oh no. Almost, Sira. Almost. His hand is like the size Stop of her not. torso. <laughs> Witcher, so be it. Let us end this. All right, so she got him down a third almost. You cannot win, even if you kill me. You see. It's not so simple. Oh, he's out of breath. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. 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 
surely fire is bad. Oh, uh. oh damn. Let me go. See, I don't even need to fight these. I just have to fight him. Try to drown me. <gasps> That's genius. Wow, that really is very smart. Wow. Like last ditch effort. So smart. Okay. Up we go. Slow and steady. <laughs> I can handle this because it's so bright. Well, I still don't want to look like underneath me, but that's fine. I think that's normal. I go. Oh. I I think I go. Oh, every time a freaking cutscene <laughs> a cutscene happens, I can't help it. So menacing. Look at that freaking architecture. That would have been so hard. Like, how many years does it take to make that shit? Nice. They're doing some damage. Let's get into this. Come on, guys. Try to run away, but it's not letting me. Oh my god. Run away. Run away. There we go. Who's next? Who wants to taste Skellige steel? <laughs> you seen Siri? By the Nagelfur! Oh, that was him back there, I see. over there. Doesn't look like I'm doing much, to be honest. Hey, I don't know. It was weird how- oh no. Is that- Words. Such a trap. 
fight. You had your chance. I was hoping you'd come. Because? I've something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. As you expire. A teleporty bitch. Oh, no, no, stop kicking me. It's cheating. <laughs> oh, my God. He's so strong. I think I have to get that frost off him. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Where did you take me? I don't like that. I don't like being manhandled like that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I missed it, I missed it. Oh. No, he's running away. I'm getting ya, I'm getting ya. It's too bad he left the portal open like a dummy. Gnarly. You fool. against each other, and he's made off with Cirilla. I don't believe you. I actually don't know if that's true or not. I truly don't. a lot of puppers. Okay. Just 
just in time. No, I'm seriously. Is that true? Oh. Where's Siri? What? Oh shit. I thought you knew. All I know is Abalak might have betrayed us. What the? That a storm? Geralt, look! Bubble. What? What the hell's happening? I find it damned hard to believe, but the gate between the worlds is open. We must reach the tower quickly. Stop Avalok, while this can still be reversed. What are we gonna find there? If the tomes are to be believed, nature's laws will cease to hold. Gravity, time, and like all of it will be turned on its head. Exaggerating for effect, right? <laughs> Not one bit. The conjunction of spheres has begun. The worlds, they're aligned, permeate one another. Avalar could use this. Bring the NL here, or something far worse. At least we know where to look for Siri. Mm. Follow me, and stay alert. Oh, man. We need to focus on Siri. What do you think Avalon wants from her? Same as Eredin, I imagine. He will use her to open a gate between the worlds. But why? Shit. An earthquake? We must hurry. Damn why it. wouldn't he that work with Eredin? Hide in the hollow on the other side. Go! following these random soldiers. Hurry up! I have to follow you! Is the gates between the worlds are growing wider. I don't need to. I don't need to fight these. I can't go fast because then I fucking tremors are getting worse. End up losing control. Okay, yeah, let's go. Go, go. I'm gonna go for a little trot instead. If you don't get close to him, I won't be able to fight him. There. I finished him off for you. It's actually it's a little bit loud. Oh my goodness. I 
that looks that's such cool imagery. It'd be like a good uh, desktop background. I think that if this game was more modern, it wouldn't have been like this. This escorting. Damn! Avalok surrounded the tower with a magic barricade. Can you dismantle it? Dismantle? No, I can make a tear at best. But only for a moment, because there's no... Specifics, Yen. Will we both get through? No. You must go alone. I'll come back. With Siri. I know. Agarid. Tear now, Geralt! Oh. I'm fine. Now go and give Avalok my heartfelt regards. Alright. I don't remember this betrayal at all. <laughs> Oh my god. Shake your head like you're disappointed in me. What? Think I'm willing to spare you? I think you will not attack one unarmed. Wouldn't be so sure. I'm in a foul mood. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cirilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower, because I aim to enter it. Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. The prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. You don't have to make this sacrifice. You're wrong. The White Frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the world one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's got to be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. have understood. Know you better than you think. Don't keep me waiting. That's why I didn't remember the betrayal. Because <laughs> oh. it wasn't actually real.
Oh, I'll get emotional if I see this. So these were all optional good memories that I could have not done. And she wouldn't have been as excited or happy. I don't know. I can't believe it's already here. Ugh. Several months later. White Orchard looks... Well, it's always kind of a dinky place, I guess. Looks really run down. I'd believe you if you showed me a pair of monogram Batiste Galagaskins. <laughs> More likely, you just say I stole them. <laughs> Dimwits. You were supposed to be somewhere? I was. Fine. Where will you meet? Near the huntsman's cottage. Old man always had a soft spot for me. He could sense I was a family man. A man of peace. Alright, I guess this is like the himself. epilogue. Would have never crossed his mind. Gun cold. Yes, frosty as heck. Hey! Bloody hell! Out in a hunt, Master Witcher. Thought you'd clear the area of beasts your last time through. Rabbit hunting this time around. Ha, ah, so that's it. Maybe you come round, visit us this eventide. Verk is baking a pie. Hmm, I don't know if... As you will. You're always welcome. Thank you. Clearly people know me here. They're very friendly. Let's go to the hunter. Everything is dead. Slav. She's gone. Mad she had to wait. No, eager to roam the fields. Prepared the cover scents and oiled the jaw traps all by herself. Make a good hunter, wouldn't she? Nah, too impatient, that one. Probably snatching rabbits barehanded, putting them in the traps because they're too slow to step in themselves. <laughs> Where'd she go? Not far. Over yonder. Farewell. Go to the meeting place. Come on. It's very undescriptive. Here she is. Oh. Not up to hunting rabbits anymore? <laughs> Not really. What now? Nothing. Just sitting, waiting for you. It's nice here. Ah, wait till you see Dolblathana in winter, and the Blue Mountains. We'll head east soon as the snow melts. Think we might have settled in a bit too much. You promised to show me that griffin's nest before we left. Let's go now.
You actually interested? Absolutely. You said it yourself. A Royal Griffin's a rare sight. Not that rare. Venture to say we'll have to slay a couple more before we get back to Kaer Morin. But if you want to see the nest, it's just up the hill. Come. Let's go. So I think this is a big... No, maybe not. I was going to say that... We were supposed to train today. Uh-huh. Tomorrow at sunup then? Work you hard like I did in the good old days. Probably been a while since anyone showed you just how much you still have to learn. Hmm. I was going to say, if you don't have a good relationship with her... <clears throat> Almost there. I don't know if she comes back. But I could be completely wrong. I'm really not sure. Careful now. This is no time for you to lecture me. Siri, wait. There's something in there. We really don't need to play hare and hounds. Oh. Siri. Srilla. Faster. That's all it needed to be to rip your shoulder wide open. But it wasn't, and it didn't. We killed it. What is this about? You're angry. Wanted to unload. But be that careless, and next time... Don't you understand? There won't be a next time! Siri, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, it's just... It's not a good time. Wanna head back? All right, enough. Let's go fishing. We're going all over the place. Oh. Whoopsies. How was I supposed to know? I'm gonna race her. We won't even talk. Cause I'll be so far ahead. I'll be damned. Should we go? No, no way. Lake's gotta be full of perch, bream, or pollard. Hmm, fresh pollard. Would you like that? I wouldn't mind some, but do we plan to wait here until he leaves? No, we'll scare him off. How? I'll improvise. Wait here. Oh, a bomb. Come oh. on, show you something. I barely spoke spooked him. What am I showing? Oh, I see. An old witch's trick for tough winters. <laughs> Not terribly subtle, but effective. Mm -hmm. Remember, don't ever do this. Why show it to me at all, then? Just in case. Never know what could happen on the path, what could save your life. Collect the fish. Oh, I see. They fell all around. Yes. Those are big fish. All right, let's go. Who taught you that? Vesemir. A long time ago. How long? Very. Back when I wanted to call myself Geralt Roger Eric Duot Pelagarci. What? <laughs> Tell you about it tonight. And about the time you broke your leg after wagering you'd jump off the roof of Cam Morhen and land a horse's back? Oh my huh. god. How do you even know about that? <laughs> Eskel told me. But I want to hear you tell it. I'm certain you have a rational explanation. I doubt it. You never gave me piggyback rides at Cairn Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> Had 
to wait till now to remind me. You've put on some weight since Care Morin. should get back. Remember me training on the pendulum? How I feared I'd never manage. Yet you forbade me from giving up. <laughs> I was black and blue practically all the time. <sighs> that pendulum was a nightmare. Yeah, How definitely not forget? for kids. Those months at Care Morn. They passed so quickly. I wish we'd spent more time together then. Almost managed to forget it was today. They're here for me, Geralt. I'm going to Nilfgaard, to Emir. I know you didn't expect this, but in Vizima, my father and I spoke for long, argued really, and parted. Then a messenger came with a letter. I didn't say anything at first because I wasn't sure, and then I realized I had to stop fleeing. I realized that if I wish to change anything, I cannot do so hunting monsters round forgotten villages. I must do so from there, from Nilfgaard. You make this choice on your own? If you mean to suggest Yennefer had anything to do with this, then the answer is no. Great. She even know? No. And I'd prefer she not get involved this time. I'll let you tell her that. Is this what you want? Yes. You're not trying to stop me. Take me to the Blue Mountains by force. Traveled half the world to find you, but I never intended to force anything on you. I know. You'll be fine. You're a witcher. We needn't say goodbye. Of course we don't. I don't know when we'll see each other again. Do you know where to find me? You can't possibly stay at Care Morhen all the time. Makes no difference. You'll find me. True. Remember what I taught you. You never know. Could be useful there too. She's so uncomfortable with that. I would be too. I wouldn't want people bowing to me.
Very bittersweet, for sure. Whoa, that's it. Oh. The third northern war ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Ymir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, the Mir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. That's so dark, those Cousin kids poking at a body. Oh my god. Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dull. After years in exile, Ciri returned to Nilfgaard, her paternal home, where Amir prepared to name her his successor. The woman had the necessary qualities. From her father, she'd inherited an empress's political instincts. From Geralt, she had gained a sense of simple human decency. Few monarchs boast both traits, which is quite a shame. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sharpness more than anything else. Yay! And of course my freaking neighbor just started mowing the lawn. Or blowing leaves or doing something. Okay, let's let this go through and then um, I'll just talk about it just a little bit. So yeah, that was the end of Witcher 3 main story. I'm so happy that there was so much that I didn't remember. Um, I I definitely was like, Avalok betrays them at the end? I was like, there's no way, I don't think that's a thing. And obviously I was wrong. So it was cool to uh, experience stuff again like I hadn't before. So I was really happy about that. Um, overall, everything was really cool. I really liked the, what was his name? Calather? I don't know, the, the bad guy with the thingy? Why can't I speak? You know what I'm saying. I like that you start off the fight as Siri, but because Siri is so strong, you end up switching off to Geralt. I thought that was a really smart idea. The Aridin fight was pretty good. Obviously, I'm playing on a lower difficulty, so it was a lot easier than it, you know, it is normally. But because I am not partial to the combat, I'm okay with that, but I'm sure it would take a little bit longer if you were playing a little bit harder, but I'm okay with the way that I did it, so. But yeah, as for the expansions, I'm 100% going to play them. I'm just going to pause a little bit now, just because I'm moving in two weeks and there are quite a few games that come out in March that are something I want to play. So because The Witcher, both expansions are really lengthy, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. So I don't want to say, I'm not going to tell you exactly when because I don't know, but um, probably at the latest May, but that's like at the latest, so likely before that. But um, as for March, there is The Last of Us I'm going to play, and then there is also um, Resident Evil 4 is coming out, the remake, so I'm going to play both of those. So that should be probably the first two things I pick up after my move, and that will be the 24th and the 28th. Um, but yeah, overall, that's about it <laughs> for now. For now, we're putting it on ice. 
But yeah, um, if you have been here the whole time, thank you so much for watching, especially if you've never um, you've never played The Witcher or seen anything of it. That's really, really cool. I'm glad that you were able to experience it with me because there was so much that I was like, whoa, <laughs> that I didn't realize about. So that's super cool. Um, but yeah, if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. You could have clicked on any video, but you clicked on mine and I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.